Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Getze. Here's look at your top stories on this Thursday. In the front of the baby and in the front of my kids and in the front of me, that's something I'm never, ever going to get over for the rest of my life. A heartbroken woman sitting down at Local 10 after she said she watched her boyfriend being shot multiple times while he was trying to stop a woman from being attacked at a Lauderdale Lakes Walmart on Tuesday. Makia Ford said her own children had to watch that traumatizing moment when Tyrone Sterling allegedly shot Theory Bastion six times. Sterling was later arrested and was denied bond. I tried to neutralize the threat when, when the first bullet hit, and then after that, um, after I see I couldn't neutralize the threat, I went ahead and uh, tried to address the wound. Only on Local 10, hearing from a police sergeant who was shot on the job, Joseph Batista said he is grateful to be alive after being shot in the arm. Happened while he was chasing down two suspects who were tied to a car theft on Saturday. They took off running after a police pursuit. Jordan Kristoff and Marvin's de Classe are now facing multiple felony charges. Officers say it is part of a growing trend of car burglaries in Golden Beach. And the search on for a shooter after a woman was hit by gunfire in Lauderdale Lakes has happened Wednesday along North State Road 7 right near Northwest 34th Street. That's where our camera spotted the car with a bullet hole in the back windshield. BSO deputies say the victim was shot at while driving by another driver in a black sedan who took off from that scene. It is unclear if she was the intended target. Fortunately, she's expected to recover. And a close call for a pair of power boaters caught in a wild crash in Marathon. Two men tossed from their 27-foot speedboat after it spun out in rough water. The vessel barely missing the ejected boaters. It happened at Race World Offshore Seven Mile Grand Prix. Event organizers say the race started late, eventually was called off early due to bad weather. Both boaters were rescued from the water and are doing okay. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered all day long, on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.